latest generation of the Super Duty truck has just made its debut, but Ford might need to make significant updates as early as 2025, this time focusing on what's under the hood. With Stellantis, in partnership with Cummins, developing new drivetrains, including a powerful new gas engine to replace the aging Hemi V8, Ford is preparing something special as well. For the first time, we can officially hear about Super Duty Hybrid. Here's what we know. You might remember the Super Chief concept, as one of the rare gems we would like to see on the roads. Unveiled back in 2006, it was more than just an innovative take on Ford's iconic trucks, it was a bold statement about the future of powertrains. This concept based on the F-250 truck packed a seldom-seen tri-fuel engine system under its muscular hood, giving truck enthusiasts a taste of versatility that was way ahead of its time. Well, it still is. The main source of power for the Ford Super Chief was a 6.8-liter V10, but what made it truly special was its ability to run on three different types of fuel, gasoline, E85 ethanol, and hydrogen. Yes you've heard that right, hydrogen. Ford didn't just slap these options together. They engineered the system to seamlessly switch between the three fuels. When running on hydrogen, the Super Chief promised zero emissions, a big deal not only for that time, but even more relevant today as the industry shifts toward greener tech. Well, the truck has never entered production, but we might call it a predecessor of Super Duty Hybrid. Ford's recent announcement of the multi-energy technology has drawn a lot of attention, especially when it comes to the future of the Super Duty lineup. With the ever-growing push towards cleaner sources of power, it's obvious that a hybrid engine is the logical next step. EVs may be in the mix, but they still fall short when it comes to the heavy-duty towing and hauling that Super Duty trucks are known for. On the other hand, the tri-motor system showcased in the Super Chief concept, while innovative, would be too expensive to mass-produce. That's why the hybrid technology is the sweet spot. Ford has already proven that hybrid powertrains can be a game-changer with the success of the F-150 Power Boost, a truck that combines the muscle of a gasoline engine with the efficiency of an electric motor. It delivers the best of both worlds, strong performance and improved fuel economy without sacrificing the capabilities that truck owners demand. So it makes perfect sense that Ford would extend this hybrid approach to its Super Duty lineup. In their announcement, the company hinted at hybrid trucks, but kept the details under wraps, leaving us all thinking. The big question now is whether that setup will be paired with a gasoline or diesel engine. Both have their qualities, a gas-electric hybrid could offer a balance of power and efficiency, while a diesel-electric combo could push torque to new heights, making it ideal for those heavy-duty tasks. Whatever route Ford takes, the introduction of a hybrid Super Duty would mark a significant milestone, a move that could redefine what it means to be a powerhouse in the truck world. Ford's Super Duty trucks have always been a symbol of raw power and capability, and with demand for these heavy-duty workhorses hitting new heights, the Blue Oval is stepping up production in a big way. Up until now, the Big Rigs lineup has rolled off the assembly lines at the Kentucky Truck Plant in Louisville and the Ohio Assembly in Avon Lake. However, with both plants running at full capacity, Ford has made a bold move to keep up with the growing demand by opening a third facility for Super Duties at the Oakville Assembly Complex in Ontario, Canada. This new plant, representing a $3 billion investment, is more than just an additional production line, it's a gateway to the future. With the capacity to build 100,000 Super Duty units annually, Oakville is set to play a crucial role in the next chapter of Ford's heavy-duty trucks. This factory is designed to support the integration of new technologies, including the hybrid powertrain. As the company hints at the hybridization of the Super Duty lineup, the Oakville plant is positioned to be at the forefront of this game-changing evolution. With the F-250, F-350, and F-450 models potentially gaining such sources of power, Ford is up to outmuscle the competition. The hybrid Super Duty trucks are going to offer a perfect blend of power, efficiency, and advanced technology, making them the ultimate response to the new Cummins units set to boost Ram's heavy-duty lineup. With Cummins hinting at a 7.2-liter turbo diesel and a new gas powertrain, Ford's radical move ensures that they won't just keep pace, they want to lead the charge. The 2026 model year is the most likely launch window for Super Duty hybrid trucks. However, Ford is keeping a close eye on the competition, particularly Ram and their partnership with Cummins. If they make a big move sooner, the Blue Oval is going to speed up the process, potentially bringing the new drivetrain to market as early as 2025. Meanwhile, GM has remained tight-lipped, offering no major announcements that could alarm rivals. As for pricing, one thing is certain, the hybrid Super Duty will come with a premium tag. 
The exact increase will largely depend on the size of the electric battery integrated into the system. However, even with the added cost, the hybrid option is expected to be more affordable than the Super Chief and its trimotor concept. The rest of the lineup, including models with V8 gasoline engines and a turbo diesel, is expected to maintain current pricing levels.